All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over probably the most overpowered weapon in the game, if not the most overpowered, certainly in the top five. And uh, the, the interesting thing about it is that the game gives it to you for completing True Vault Hunter mode, meaning you're going to have to get this in your hand. I'm talking about the Rosie. It does come in all four elements, so you can get it in Shock, Fire, Freeze, or or, or uh, corrosive. If you want to get all four, you do have to reload your saves um, or dash bar out if you're in 360, um, because you of course will only get it once. So I wanted to get all four, but so I did that. I reloaded my save to make sure I got all four. Um, I think personally, shock is the best one, but they all are are absolutely uh, incredibly overpowered. And what makes them amazing? All the Malawan lasers have this continuous damage bonus, but the Rosie gets a 500% one. Normally, that's 100 to a top topped out level of 200. This one gets 500. So at, again, at first glance, you think oh, that's nothing too special. A thousand uh, damage for a laser is about right. You know, nothing special for accuracy or fire rate or magazine size or anything like that. Um, but when you actually go to use it this 500% bonus, which means instead of doing 1,000, you're doing about 5,000. And then all your skills and gear and stuff that can boost that even higher to crazy amounts. So let's show off what that looks like here. Let's do two moon buggies. Uh, we got a red one and a blue one. And we're going to bring out a purple Hyperion laser, which is pretty similar type of laser. It's a, it's a it's a continuous laser just like the mellow one. You know, just, uh, and this is again, keep in mind, this is a purple laser, which means this is an amazing weapon in and of itself. It does a little bit more less damage if we compare the two. It does a little less damage, does a little bit more accuracy, but the rest of the stats, fire rate, reload speed, magazine size, pretty similar. Right? So you think, well, this Rosie's nothing too special. Let's start with maybe the Hyperion laser on the red car here. Let's see, we're doing 500 damage, but very rapidly. But watch. Actually, we can't even blow it up in one clip. 500 damage over and over again. Now let's compare that to the Rosie. Let's see how it does. It's doing 3,000, 4,000 damage. <laughs> Um, I saw in there 3,500 for sure. I saw it in there, so it's doing seven times the damage of a very good purple weapon. Um, so when you use this thing, it's it's as as I'll show you, it's incredibly overpowered. Uh, Borderland always seems to have gear that's incredibly overpowered. That's part of its charm, I guess. But once you get this, my big worry um, is that, for example, I'm not going to use this because I think it's going to ruin the DLCs for me. Because once you have it, you're going to be able to kill anything in the DLCs. I had the same problem in Borderlands 2 um, when the first DLC came out, the Pirate DLC. I had such good gear that it was almost no fun because it was so easy. Um, again, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. I probably won't, but it certainly is incredible. Once you get this gun, the game will change completely. You're going to go from having to fight uh, your way through crowds to just don't even care, just run right in and, and use this thing. Um, I'll show you some gameplay of it to show what I mean. Okay, here we are about to fight Deadlift to show off how powerful the Rosie really is, or how overpowered, I suppose I should say, it really is. You see, all we have enabled is the Rosie. We have no skills enabled. Badass rank disabled. Just the Sunshine Shield, which doesn't give you any bonus. Grenades I won't use, Invigoration Oz kit, no, nothing special there. My class mod, nothing special there. Skills are disabled. Anyway, so let's go see how we do with the Rosie. And if you remember fighting Deadlift in True Volter mode, you remember he was one of the hardest bosses uh, in True Volter Hunter mode. I know I certainly had the most trouble with him over any of any of them. Oh, here he is. Let's see how we do. With our 
critical I course. am dead! Want some more? Just like that. Nothing to it. Go right at him. He doesn't even have a chance to turn on any of his, any of his defenses or, or anything like that. And that's with no skills, not using Wolf and Saint, no badass rank, um, no grenades, no anything. You could... You can just totally kill these guys with no... absolutely no trouble at all. That's how overpowered and I guess he dropped his special weapon, which I'll have to go over in another video. That's how overpowered this weapon is. Um, and like I said, you can't get it until after you've beaten the final boss in True Vault Hunter mode of the base game, so it's not too bad. You can't get it until you're basically done the game anyway. But the real problem I have with it is, to me, this will almost ruin the DLC, because with this weapon, especially if you have spec out into skills uh, and turn on your badass rank, you're, you're going to be just an unstoppable death machine. And like I say, if you get some um, better equipment to, to, to go with it and promote your skills, it, it's an absolute monster of a thing. But it is what it is. Every Borderlands game seems to have its ridiculously overpowered weapons, and this is it. The 500% continuous damage bonus, as you can see, is what does it. Um, but uh, once you get this weapon, you're going to be pretty much, pretty much uh, a death-dealing, boss-killing machine. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not, but it is an uh, important weapon to know about in the game. Okay, thanks. And just for fun, I thought, here's what it looks like when you actually do enable all your skills. So you can see how easy that was with skills disabled. Let's see how it goes with skills enabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, I have the shock rosy and just skills enabled. So let's let's go see if we can find springs. this guy. She sucks. Is that him up there? Voice That's what I got for you. Just like that. He's dead. Again. Uh, you remember how hard that was when you had to do it? <laughs> it's just... With this weapon, the game becomes quite literally... farcical how easy it is. And this isn't even... Like I say, this isn't even really a boss... beater build. This is my Wolf and Saint build, which is more for mobs. Um, so if you tweaked into Cyber Commando, you could... I, I don't even know with this weapon in your hands. I don't even know what they could do in the DLCs. It's just going to be a cakewalk. But again, up to you if you want to use it. It's a very powerful weapon and something everybody needs to know about, I think.